Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle Tutorial. In this story, we're going to go ahead and do the F-117 Nighthawk. This aircraft would only have a crew of one, one pilot. Dimensions you can see on screen now is a length of 20.17 meters and a width of 13.21 meters. Its role is a stealth attack aircraft and the number built was 64. Armaments include two external uh, weapon bays, that's about it. It's only meant to be bombing, uh, nothing else. Uh, engine you can see here, GE turbofans. And lastly, performance has a max speed of 617 km per hour. But anyways, guys, that's it for this, and enjoy the tutorial. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Scare2 if we're here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk. This aircraft here is a single-seat uh, twin-engine stealth attack aircraft that was developed by Lockheed and is operated or was operated by the United States Air Force. Uh, the F-117 is based on the Have Blue Technology Demonstrator. Uh, the Nighthawk was first uh, the first operational aircraft to be designed around stealth technology, and its maiden flight took place in 1981 um, and all that stuff. As the, at this point in time, the Nighthawk is retired with the introduction of the F-22 and now the F-35. Uh, the U.S. Air Force saw very little need for these uh, to be used anymore, especially with the newer F-22 and F-35. It's basically uh, meant to pretty much replace and do pretty much what this thing can do, but even better. Um, overall, it's a very interesting view, uh, aircraft. It's, uh, in my opinion, kind of a derpy one, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, it was uh, a little bit tricky to design because it's got a lot of slants to it and a lot of very kind of interesting uh, design to it, which is a bit different and can sometimes be a little bit tricky at times, but I think I did a pretty uh, good job of pulling it off. Um, as it uh, does look uh, pretty decent, I think the shape is uh, pretty much there and on point. Um, but anyways, this is a uh, birthday requested vehicle, so I want to go ahead and wish a happy birthday to Leo, who requested this for his birthday. Um, hopefully you had a great birthday, Leo, and hopefully you do enjoy this design for the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk. Definitely a very cool uh, aircraft and uh, quite an interesting one, to say the least. Now, um... If we go ahead and kind of take a uh, look at um, the aircraft, there's not a whole lot to cover on it, mainly because it's such a sleek aircraft. Um, uh, it's a very large aircraft. Um, it's kind of interesting. I was just actually surprised on how big it was and it only being a single seater, which uh, was kind of interesting. I thought that for sure they would have a navigator or something like that on board it, uh, but they apparently don't. So uh, very interesting. Uh, but you can see this is the cockpit right up here. So of course your pilot would be up here and you can see a lot of little details and stuff around it. Uh, you have your big air intakes on the sides here of the jet, just like that on either side. And uh, just some various little detailing markings for the Air, air Force symbol and um, writing and stuff like that on the sides of it. Overall, not a whole lot because it's mainly just a very streamlined, just a full-on black aircraft. Uh, coming back here, you can see we have the uh, wings here and, of course, the uh, flaps on the wings highlighted a little bit with the stone half-stabs. I feel it kind of creates a nicer look and kind of highlights them a little bit. Um, so definitely... Um, Definitely pretty good on that on that point. Now on the back here, I love the way the back looks. Uh, the engines uh, look really nice using the uh, glowstone lamps. Definitely came out really cool. So I like the way that looks. And of course you have your uh, vertical stabilizers that kind of come out the back there at that angle and all that stuff and um, all that. Uh, of course, I will be showing you guys also how to put the landing gear on so that you guys, uh, if you guys want to have this thing landed or whatever and some kind of uh, base or whatever, you can have it landed and all that stuff at the airfield and uh, should work out perfectly for you guys. Overall, it should be a, a pretty simple aircraft. It's very streamlined, not a whole lot of uh, crazy detail we have going on with it, but uh, definitely is a cool aircraft nonetheless. Uh, so hopefully you guys do enjoy the tutorial. Again, happy birthday to Leo. Hopefully you enjoy the build, man. And of course, hopefully you guys all enjoy it as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer one. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our uh, first layer here. We're going to be going ahead and... Uh, you know, doing the first kind of part of it, which will be pretty much the very underside of the aircraft. Now, uh, if you guys are new to my tutorials, I like to go ahead and do half off camera and half on camera. It makes it a little bit faster for the tutorial to go, which means less uh, less upload time, which is perfect for me since my internet sucks. Uh, but, uh, you know, it makes it a little bit easier for me. And then this aircraft is fairly symmetrical, or pretty much completely symmetrical. So uh, whatever we do on the right side here, you're going to do the same thing over to the left side. And you should be absolutely golden with the aircraft. It's, again, not a very uh, complex design whatsoever. You guys should have very little problems with it, uh, which is always a good thing. Now, uh, before we get started, uh, we'll be show I'll be showing you guys how to put the landing gear on at the end of the tutorial. So I would recommend just going ahead and building this aircraft how we are doing it right now. And then I'll go back and show you guys where to put the landing gear and how to put it all in and all that stuff. Uh, now, real quickly, if you guys are having this thing landed, uh, one thing that's really important is that you guys build it the right height off the ground. 
Now, uh, you can see here that this layer, layer one, runs along all right down here. It's all top slabs. We're gonna go ahead and build for sure that this is one, two, and three blocks from the uh, surface of the ground. You can see you have three block space right here, and then you have a half slab space, and then the top slabs right there. So you wanna make sure you have that much space, because if you don't, it's gonna be a little bit too high, kind of floating off the ground, or it's gonna be a little bit too low in the ground. So make sure that you guys have that all right. Very important that you guys do, especially if you're having this thing landed or else it won't uh, line up. So you've been warned, make sure you have that all uh, figured out. Now going back up to the top here. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and basically build this row of nether brick um, slabs pretty much going all the way back. We're gonna place down a nether brick top slab and then we're gonna go ahead and place down a uh, second one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 of these nether brick top steps all going down the center. Just to go and double check our counting to make sure that's completely right because it's a little bit hard to see nether brick sometimes, we can go ahead and you quickly use world edit and we can go ahead and just uh, copy it just to see and you can see actually 26 blocks. So make sure you have 26 blocks uh, from here all the way to the end there for the back and that's going to go ahead and make that center line so 26 blocks on the very center now once you guys have that all figured out we're going to go ahead and go to the front of our aircraft so whichever way you want this aircraft pointing my aircraft's going to be pointing this way so i'm going to go ahead and go to the row 26 i'm going to go ahead and skip the first two slabs i'm going to go to the third one place down nerebrick top so it comes out of it now from this nerebrick top slab, i'm just going to go ahead and take this row and go all the way along the previous row we just placed down the very center and this is going to go all the way back toward the rear here just like this and it's going to end equal with this row of 26 on the rear here. So you can see there's an indent of two on the front here. And then on the rear, it's going to be basically uh, row three across here once you get the area side copied on. Um, but it's going to be directly in line with that very center row, just like that. So that's going to be a total of 24 slabs going back. For the next row here, we're going to go ahead and go off to this row of 24. We're going to do the same thing. Go to the third narrow brick top slab. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just count this back. And this is going to go ahead and run all the way back here, just like this like so and it's going to come all the way back here like so and it's going to end one uh, before one before these uh nether brick top slabs right here so if we go ahead and just copy that just to make sure that we uh, have the block count right for you guys we can see here 21 blocks long for this row right here we then want to go ahead and go to our next row and we're going to go ahead and count to uh, our row 21 here we're going to go ahead and go to the front here again we're going to go ahead and go one two and three go to your fourth block place down nether brick top slab out from it and we're just going to go and take our narrow brick top slabs, run this all the way along the side here, just like this. And it's going to go ahead and end one before this row 21 we placed down the previous layer, or the previous row. Uh, once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to this row here. We're going to go ahead and count to our third one, like this. So you're going to kind of see this pattern we're going to kind of go ahead and start forming here. And this is going to go ahead and run all the way back here as well, just like this, going back, all the way back here to this point. It's going to end one before this uh, previous row we just placed down like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and go back up here, go to your third block, just like this, like we've been doing in the row. And again, we're just gonna go ahead and run this all the way along, like so toward the back. Now for this next row here, we're gonna go ahead and actually go to our third one, or sorry, fourth one here. So it's gonna be another one of those like little uh, gaps of three. And we just wanna go ahead and pretty much uh, take this all the way back here, like so. Now, uh, after you have that, we're gonna start to get into the little parts of the wings here. You can see that's pretty much the main kind of shape there of the body. And this is part of where the wings kind of stick out. Now we're going to go ahead and go to our third nether brick uh, top step here in this outer row here. And we just want to go ahead and place down one, two, and three after it like so. Followed by a stone half slab. And then we're going to place down a second stone half slab like that going back. So you can see something kind of like that. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to this row again. We're going to go ahead and go to our third nether brick uh, top step. And we're going to go ahead and place down one nether brick half slab like this. And we're just going to go ahead and go back one and two more. And then we're going to place down two stone half slabs going back as well. We then want to go ahead and go out to the side here. We're going to go ahead and go next to these two uh, stone half slabs. We're going to place down two nether brick half slabs coming off of them. And then coming off these two nether brick half slabs, we're going to place down two stone uh, top slabs like that. With that done, we're just going to place down two nether brick uh, top slabs coming off these two stone half slabs. So we should get something that kind of looks like, like this from above. If you want to go ahead and pause it here in case you kind of fell behind, uh, this is kind of a good pausing point. You guys can kind of see exactly how this should look. You want something that looks uh, pretty much just like this for the base of it. And of course, you're going to take what we did on the right side here and flip it over to the left side 
as it's completely symmetrical and you guys will be good to go with layer one. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for layer one and with that we can go ahead and move on to layer two. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer here, we have layer 2. Now layer 2 is where we're going to go ahead and start to establish a little bit more. We're going to kind of build off of our base here and, uh, you know, uh, start building stuff. I think layer 2 is going to be our little bit of the most complex layer for this build. Uh, but then again, it shouldn't be that hard to go through. Uh, but just a, you know, warning, uh, this could be uh, for you guys the most uh, kind of complicated part of the uh, build. Now, uh, what we want to do is we want to uh, go ahead and get started here is we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the front here. Now you can see on the very front here, the point, we have the narrow brick top set. We're going to go ahead and go off the top set and go forward. We're going to place down two uh, black wool blocks, followed by another brick stair, and then a narrow brick top set. So something just like that, coming off that top set like so. We then want to go ahead and go to the side of the, this uh, this uh, black wool block, the one coming off the back of the stair here. We're going to place down a narrow brick half set on either side of it. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves another brick stair. We're going to place down another brick stair right next to this uh, black wool block. And then coming from this uh, another brick stair, we're going to place down one and two black wool blocks going back. Coming out to the side here on these another brick, or sorry, these uh, black wool blocks, we're going to place down another brick half slab and another brick uh, stair just like that. And for those of you guys that uh, want to go ahead and throw these uh, end rods on, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two over here on the right side. And over on the left side, we're just going to place the one right here. That's equal with this row. Uh, so something just like that. That's the only part that's asymmetrical about the build. So go ahead and make sure you have that correct. Now, with that finished, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to these uh, narrow brick this narrow brick stair here. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three of these black wool blocks back like that. We're then going to go ahead and take our narrow brick half slabs. We're going to place down one, two, and three narrow brick half slabs along the three uh, black wool blocks like this. Go ahead and go into this third uh, narrow brick half set. We're gonna place down one half set that goes out, and after this row of three here of uh, narrow brick half sets, we're gonna place down one and two uh, black wool blocks going back. Next to this narrow brick half set here, we're gonna place down a uh, narrow brick half set and then a narrow brick stair coming off this uh, black wool block like that. Go ahead and continue the pattern. After this narrow brick stair, we're gonna place down one and two black wool blocks. Once you have that done, we're gonna place down a narrow brick half set coming off of this uh, black wool wool block and then a uh, narrow brick stair coming off the uh, black wool block just like that. With that finished uh, we want to go ahead and take our black wool and from this uh, narrow brick uh, stair here we're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and uh, 12 back uh, just like that with your black wool. So it's going to go ahead and kind of go all the way back here and it's going to stop one before it gets to the end of this uh, top sab or gets on uh, to the last top sab here uh, from the previous layer. Okay guys, so once you get to this point here, uh, we're going to go back to this line of black wool. We're going to go ahead and take our narrow brick half step and start from the from the very first black wool block here in this row. We're going to place down a narrow brick half step that comes off of it. So we have one, then we're going to place down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these uh, uh, narrow brick half steps back. Then we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five of these uh, narrow brick stairs that go back just like that. So again, you have eight narrow brick half steps and then you have five narrow brick stairs. They count, the narrow brick stairs take out one pass, this black wool uh, block, just like that. Now, once you have that done, coming out to the sides again, we're going to go ahead and take our narrow brick half sabs. We're going to go ahead and go to your third uh, narrow brick half sab in that previous row, so you have a space of two right here. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight of these narrow brick half sabs going back, just like that. Now we also want to go ahead and use our stone half sabs and we're actually going to go ahead and place down a stone half sab and we're, we're actually going to break this narrow brick half sab here and place down a stone half sab. So actually we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 of these uh, narrow brick half sabs. So we got rid of that one here on the end uh, just like that. So just going to make that small little uh, change there and you're good to go. Now for the uh, next row here, we're going to go ahead and go to your fourth nether brick uh, half sab of this row. So we have... Uh, we have one, two, three, and four. We're going to place down a narrow brick half sub that comes off of that fourth one. And then we just want to go ahead and go back from this. Uh, we have one, two, my bad, two, three, uh, four, and five back. And then we're going to place down two stone half subs. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to your third narrow brick half sub here in that previous row we placed down. We're going to place down a narrow brick half sub, followed by, uh, you know, we have one, two, three, and four back just like that and actually we're gonna make this five back like so followed by two stone half slabs on top of those two stone or those two narrow brick uh, top slabs like so 
With that finish, uh, going ahead and going out uh, to the side here. We're going to go ahead and take our nether brick half stabs. We're going to go ahead and go to the third nether brick half stab, place down a half stab, uh, half stab that goes off off of it like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and uh, place down. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six back, just like that. Now, once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and take our stone half stabs. We're going to place down one, two, and three, going back like so. For the uh, next row here, we're going to go ahead and make another uh, kind of row three here. So we're going to go ahead and go to your fourth nether brick half stab in that row we placed down earlier. Place down nether brick half stab. We're going to place down, we have one, two, three, four, and five back. Then we're going to place down one, two, and three uh, stone uh, stairs going back just like that. With that finish, we're going to go ahead and go to your third nether brick half stab in this row. Going to go in, we have uh, one that goes out like this. And it's just going to go ahead and go back. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven nether brick half slabs. For the next row here, we're going to go ahead and go out again. Place down, uh, go to your third nether brick half slab in this row here, right here. And we're just going to place down, we have one, two, three, and four back. Uh, just like that. And actually, my bad, five. So we have a total of five right here. That'll run along the side here. Now, uh, with that um, out of the way, the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and go to the uh third nether brick half stab again we're gonna place down one that comes off of it and then one more right next to it uh just like that for the very tip of the wing so basically you have you can see the wings there it's a little bit complex i know um it, you guys can go ahead and kind of take a little bit of an overview here of how it looks and uh that's how you guys sh should have your uh layers so far and now we're gonna go ahead and work on the back section here now uh the back section here is actually really simple um it's uh very, very should be very easy now on the back of this uh nether brick stair we have the one that sticks out past this black wool we're going to go ahead and place down a, uh, a nice uh, sea lantern on top of that top slab and behind this uh, stair. Now we're just going to go ahead and follow this outline we laid out in the previous layer. We're going to place down one, two, and three more of these glow or these uh, sea lanterns just like that. So you can see you have a total of four uh, just like this on your side. Now on this uh, this uh, nerve brick top slab here, we're going to place down a black wool block. And we're actually just going to place down a row of three that goes across like this. Now coming off the very center, a uh, black wool block. Uh, on, that's on top of this row three of nether brick top slabs. We're going to place down two black wool blocks followed by a nether brick half slab that comes off on the very end. Now next to this uh, first black wool block that sticks out, we're going to place down a nether brick stair followed by two nether brick half slabs that go out just like that. So you can see uh, you have uh, something that kind of looks like this um, so far. Now uh, very simple, now coming off these glow these uh, sea lanterns actually, my bad, we're just going to place down three nether brick half slabs coming off of each of these sea lanterns. Very simple, uh, you're just going to go ahead and just go to the sea lanterns and place down three nether brick half subs coming off of it. And then lastly, we're just going to go ahead and go to these nether brick stairs here. We're going to place down one and two nether brick half subs coming off of those nether brick stairs, just like that going back. So basically, you should have something like, that looks like this for the back of the aircraft or basically for layer two and um, something just like that. Uh, overall, once you guys get that, do that done on the right side here, you're going to go ahead and copy that over to the left side just like we did for the previous layer. And when you have that all finished, you guys will be good to go ahead and move on to your next layer. And so with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer three. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving on to our next layer here, we have layer three. Now for layer three, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the very front of the aircraft again. We're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick half slab on top of this uh, black wool block right here. It was the, if you recall, it's the one that has the two nether brick stairs in between it. Uh, on the very nose, we're just going to place down a nether brick half slab on top of it. Now going back from this nether brick half slab, we're going to place down two black wool blocks. And then going ahead and going off this first nether brick, uh, sorry, this uh, black wool block, we're going to place down a uh, nether brick half stab that comes off of it like so. On the second black wool block, we're going to place down a black wool block that comes off of it. So you have a row of three that goes across here. And then going back from this, we're just going to place down one and two. So you have a row of three here on the side like that. Now if that finished, we're going to go ahead and go to the third uh, wool block here. We're going to place down a nether brick half stab to the side of it. We're then going to take our stone brick, place down the stone brick stair, and then a polished dance side block. Go diagonal from the polished dance site, place down a second polished dance site block like this, and then a black wool block going back from this polished dance site like so. We then want to go ahead and take a quartz stair, place down one like this that goes out diagonal from this black wool block, and then we're going to follow the black or the uh, nerve brick or sorry the quartz stair up by placing down one and two uh, black wool blocks going back like so. Next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and place down uh, a total of three quartz full blocks just like this, and they're going to place down three quartz half slabs coming off of those three quartz full blocks. Going ahead and going back, uh, we're going to go ahead and go back from this uh, block of uh, these three um, 
these three quartz blocks we're gonna place down one two three four five six and seven and eight of these black wool blocks back from the row three of uh, quartz um, of the of the quartz uh, full blocks now going out to the side here after these three quartz half stabs we're gonna place down one two and three narrow brick stairs we're then gonna place down one two and three of these uh, black wool blocks and then we're gonna place down one and two uh, narrow brick uh, stairs going back all right guys so going ahead and continuing on now one thing i want to go ahead and point out real quick is uh with these narrow brick stairs we're actually going to go and change this stair here to a corner stair so it looks something just like that so just go and make that small adjustment there it's uh, nothing major and uh you guys should be good to go now also to kind of fill in the space here in the very center um we're going to go ahead and go to this middle block here in this row of three and we're just going to go and place down a row of black wool that's going to go all the way across here uh, toward the back you can go ahead and pretty much take it to the um, halfway point for now until you copy it over or you can just bring it all the way across but you're going to want to go all the way back up and connect to that side there and then same thing with this row going ahead and going back this is going to go all, go all the way across so you're going to have a nice big line of black wool that goes all the way across and then uh the between the narrow brick stairs here we're going to place down black wool that's going to go all the way across and then between these corner stairs we're going to go ahead and place down another uh, row of black wool it's going to go all the way across uh just like that to kind of fill in the space on the back here now with that finished, uh, we want to go ahead and go to our, um, st uh, our uh, corner stair here. And we're just going to go ahead and place down another brick half slab that comes off of it like so. Now once you have that done, we want to go ahead and take our narrow brick half slabs and coming off of this uh, black wool block. We're going to place down two narrow brick half slabs coming off of it like so. We then want to go ahead and uh, take narrow brick stairs. Or, and we're going to place down a narrow brick stair coming off this block. Followed by one and two narrow brick half slabs coming off of it. Going ahead and going over, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair here, followed by one, two, and three narrow brick half stabs going back. For our next uh, row here, we're going to place down one, two, and three black wool blocks going back. And then we're just going to go ahead and place down one narrow brick half stab on the end. Now for the very center row, uh, we have this uh, big line of black wool. She have, she have pretty much a gap here in the center. We're going to place down a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven of these black wool blocks. So it should stick out. A little bit past and it's going to pretty much be equal with these uh, narrow brick top stabs on the rear uh, so something just like that on the on the very end is what you want to have and uh, pretty much once you guys have that all finished that's gonna pretty much do it for this layer uh, a very uh, nice sim simple layer and it's gonna start to get a little bit easier and as we kind of go on uh, but anyways guys that's gonna do it for uh, layer 3 and with that we can go ahead and move on to layer 4 Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer here, we have layer uh, 4. Now for layer 4, we're going to start off by going to the very front up here. And we have those two black wool blocks that came after this narrow brick half slab from the previous layer. We're just going to go ahead and place down a stone uh, half slab on top of the second block, just like that. Now going back from that stone half slab, we're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 of these uh, light gray stained glass uh, blocks. Of course, you can change whatever kind of stained glass you guys want to use. Uh, I just prefer light gray stained glass. I think it looks the best. So... Uh, you guys can go ahead and pick and choose for that. Uh, then coming off the first uh, of the first uh, light gray stained glass full block, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass paint on the inside, side, followed by a nether brick half slab, and then a nether brick stair like so going back. Once you guys have that done, going ahead and uh, moving on. From the back of this nether brick stair, we're just going to go ahead and take our black wool. We're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 black wool blocks going back and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for this stair so 10 back and in the very center row here we have this empty row here we're going to go ahead and go in in line with these uh rows here of 10 of black wool we're just going to go ahead and go uh place down a black wool block in the center and we just want to go ahead and place down one two three and four going in basically just to fill this space in here in the center and then this open space here will be dedicated to pretty much your cockpit or whatever you kind of want to put in there um but uh yeah that's what we kind of have that space for and that's what it's uh pretty much intended for um so that, and of course you guys could just go ahead and kind of completely fill this in or whatever you guys want to do but uh, you need to at least have a minimum of four blocks going in from the back here now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go out to the side here now next to this uh, this um, black wool uh, block we're gonna place down narrow brick half slab uh, so it's your second narrow brick or so you're sorry black wool block um, your second one right here and then we just want to place down uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight black wool blocks going back so it's in line with the uh, the uh, three right here so it's going to kind of create this big line that goes across here uh, for your next row here we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the second black wool block in that row we just placed we're going to place that narrow brick stair like this and then one like so so we create a corner stair 
and we're going to take these narrow brick stairs and pretty much run along the side here of these wool blocks all the way back to this point right here and these are again going to be equal in row or um, in the same row with these uh black wool blocks there in the very center so you should have something that kind of looks like that for the, for the uh, front portion just like that now in the back here we're going to go ahead and go uh from this uh black wool block here we're going to go ahead and place down narrow brick halves out the narrow brick halves have to go all the way across to the other side here so you're going to just place down a giant road that just goes all the way across we're going to go ahead and repeat this a few times so we have a, a second row that goes all the way across here then we actually have a third row and then even a fourth row just like that and then lastly we're just going to go ahead and place down uh, a one one row of three here of narrow brick half subs in the very center uh, just like that um, for the um, shape and so it should look something that just something just like that of it kind of slanting a little bit you can see the body's really starting to take up its shape and all that stuff now in the very back here we have one last thing we need to do uh, we're going to go ahead and come back here to this section. We're going to go ahead and go to this um, black wool block right here. We're going to place down a brick half step on top of it, followed by one more half step going back. And then we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five black wool blocks going back just like that. So you get something that kind of looks like that so far for the shaping, um, like so. And of course, you're going to do the same thing over this on this side. It's going to be the start here of your um, vertical stabilizers. And um, once you guys have that done, it's going to do it for layer 4. And with that, we can move on to layer 5. Alright guys, so moving on to our next layer here, we have layer 5. Now for layer 5, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the very front up here of the aircraft. And we're going to start off by placing down a light gray stained glass pane on top of this first light gray stained glass full block. Just like that. And on either side here, on these uh, one panes that kind of stick out, we're just going to place down a wither skeleton skull. Uh, just like this on either side. And we're going to make sure that we have it uh, facing dead on. Um, so maybe a little bit difficult. Um, sometimes on PC when you have the keys and you're trying to do it can be a little bit tricky sometimes there we go uh, so something uh, just like that for the front now going back from these wither skeleton skulls or going to these uh, uh, or actually we're gonna go and start off by going back from this paint now we're gonna go ahead and place down one two three and uh, four of these uh, light gray stained glass uh, paints so you can see uh, one actually my bad it's gonna be three so one two and three uh, light gray um, paint or full blocks going back from this light gray stained glass paint. Now coming off three uh, full blocks, we're just going to go ahead and place down uh, th three panes. Come off the side just like that, and then go ahead and go back from this row three of uh, light gray light gray uh, full glass uh, blocks. We're going to place down two black wool blocks, followed by a total of three nether brick half slabs. Go ahead and go into the side here of these uh, black wool blocks. We're going to place down a nether brick stair on either side, followed by a nether brick or sorry a snow brick stair. Followed by one and two stone brick stairs and a nether brick uh, half slab like that. Or sorry, two stone brick half slabs and then a nether brick half slab like that. Now we're going ahead and coming off of uh, this uh, stone brick half slab, we're going to place down one more that comes out to the side. Same thing right here. And then one more nether brick half slab that comes comes out to the side like so. With that uh, finished, we're going to go ahead and go on to uh, the back section here. Now uh, for this, we're going to go ahead and count out to our... Uh, second uh, black wool block right here. We're gonna go ahead and go out to the side with one narrow brick half slab like that And then we're just gonna place down one two three and four black wool blocks back from the half slab just like that And uh, once you guys have that all finished that's gonna pretty much uh, do it for layer five And with that we'll go ahead and move on to our last final layers of the aircraft should be much more really left um, So we'll just go ahead and finish off the uh, aircraft and then we'll go ahead and move on to the landing gear and finish this uh, bad boy up So with that let's move on to our last final layers Alright guys, so going ahead and uh, moving on to our last final layers here, we pretty much have uh, layers 6, uh, 7, or um, 6 and 7 actually, and uh, that'll pretty much uh, complete it, and uh, all that stuff. So very basic uh, stuff, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the cockpit here, we're going to go ahead and go to your first two light gray um, stained glass uh, full blocks, we're going to place down two nearby half subs on top, so just like that for the front there, we're then going to place down two, or sorry, a row of three of black carpets, or just actually one black carpet on top of this uh last uh, um, glass full block just like that to go and kind of round off the front there now the last thing we're going to do is pretty much go back to the uh, vertical stabilizers and finish those off now we want to go ahead and start by going to this row four here we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, second block we're going to place down a nearby half stab that kind of comes off of it uh, to the side so it's going to kind of go out in an angle here and then after that we're going to place down one two and three of these uh, black wool blocks going back from that half stab we're going to go ahead and go up one more time we're going to go ahead and go to the second uh, black wool block in this row three we're gonna go ahead and have the nerve brick half sub come off to the side just like we did down there and we're gonna place down one and two uh, black wool blocks going back just like that to finish off the tail there 
And once you guys have that done, that's pretty much the um, main design there for the F117 Nighthawk. Uh, as you can, as you can see, it's a pretty uh, awesome design, and um, I think it came out really good. And hopefully, you guys uh, do enjoy it as well. And this is the airborne version right here. So if you want to have this thing flying, this is exactly what you guys will need uh, to have this thing flying up in the air and um, you know doing its uh, mission of being a stealth aircraft. Uh, if you guys want to have this thing landed, uh, I'll be going ahead and moving on and showing you guys how to put the landing gear on this thing. Uh, but other than that, if you guys are just planning on having this thing up in the air, um, you guys are good to go. And uh, hopefully you do enjoy the build, and hopefully uh, if you guys do have this design, you do give me credit for it. Uh, but other than that, for those of you guys that want to move, do the landing gear, let's go ahead and move on to uh, putting the landing gear on this aircraft. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to putting the landing gear on. Now as you guys can see, I uh, switched over my uh, texture pack for my share packs, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to actually see here. Uh, and uh, all that stuff, especially since we're going to be working on, working on the bottom here. If my other shaders on, it would be just too dark for you guys to see. So, uh, hopefully this helps a little bit and you guys be able to see what's going on down here. And as you guys can see, I went ahead and marked with blocks here what we actually will be breaking here um, on the bottom of the aircraft to go ahead and fit these um, the landing gear in. Now, as you'll notice, we have this uh, kind of point here um, that we built from layer 1. You can see the half steps they kind of meet up to a point here. We're, we have these two narrow brick half steps here that are on the very front point of the first layer. We're going to go ahead and break a total of four blocks after those two half sabs, just like this along the very center here to kind of create this space all in here. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the right side here on the very end block here. And we're just going to break this block that goes out to the side uh, just like that. We can fill that space in. Um, you can make this look a little bit more like a wheel um, well by just placing down some nerve half sabs, replacing those uh, black uh, wool blocks down there. Um, or, you know, you can probably have the open space in there from uh, when you... Uh, rebuilding it so you can go ahead and put down some narrow brick half steps in there to kind of create a space like this and we can go ahead and uh, pretty much fill that in like that to kind of create more of a wheel well which looks pretty nice so we're going to go ahead and do something like that now one thing we do need to do is we need to go ahead and uh, we're going to grab ourselves a narrow brick stair so we'll just go ahead and fly up here grab ourselves a narrow brick stair and we'll go ahead and go underneath here now we'll take this half slab or this top slab here we'll replace it with an upside down stair and then going down from this we're going to place down one and two cobblestone walls going down like that Followed by an upside down cord stair. Now the back of the cord stair should face toward the left side and then the front stair toward the right side. You do want it to be a little bit off like that. That's actually how the wheel actually is. So make sure that you guys have it like that because um, that's how it's supposed to be. Now with that finished we're then going to place down a block of coal like this. And on the other side of the block of coal we're going to go ahead and place down a stone button and that's going to be the front wheel just like that. Coming off the uh, cobblestone wall here we're going to place down a um, iron frame with a glass pane in it. And then on the back here of this uh, stair, we actually want to go ahead and go into our inventory here. We're going to grab ourselves a skeleton skull. And come off the back of the this or the side here of the stair, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like that. Now also going ahead and going up, we're going to go ahead and go to this cobblestone wall here. Coming off of it, we're going to place down a quartz stair, just like that. And then coming off of this cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a wither skeleton, or sorry, a uh, normal skeleton skull, just like that. So your front wheel should look something just like that uh, for the front there. Um, so just like that Then uh, the last thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to the corresponding uh, Nerve brick half stabs next to this on the left side here We're gonna go ahead and break one two three and four and we're gonna go ahead and replace these three blocks here with black wool And then the one that's more toward the front we're gonna place down with a nerve brick stair like that Now underneath these three black wool blocks We're gonna go ahead and take our nerve brick half top slabs and we're gonna place down a row of three just like that For the uh, little door that would open up to uh, let the landing um, gear extend outward so just like that is what you want to have. And uh, once you have that, that's how you do the front wheel. And we'll go ahead and move on to the back wheels. All right, guys. So for the rear wheels here, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to this under section here. Now, we're going to go ahead and look, take a look here at this uh, row three of quartz. It'll be kind of an easy way for us to kind of, um, you know, mark out where this exactly is positioned. Now, if we go ahead and we go to the third um, half stab here from the front here. So you have one, two, and three, the third one right here. We're going to go ahead and go down here and go to the row the row corresponding it uh, so we go down this way and you can see we have this nether brick uh, half step here so you have this row three here of nether brick uh, top steps underneath now we're going to go ahead and go one in from this one and we're going to go ahead and break up uh, break the half step here you can see i have a marked of orange where we're going to be breaking so we're going to break this one right here and we just want to go ahead and go back uh, so we have one two three four five six and seven uh, of these nether brick half steps we're just going to go ahead and break out uh, just like that now, once you guys have uh, that all finished, we then want to go ahead and go to the to go to the back here of the row, so the the uh, part that's as far back as we can go, and we're going to go ahead and place down a upside down uh, narrow brick stair like that. 
We then want to go ahead and go down from that narrow brick stair. We're going to place down a place where a block, and then we're going to place down a narrow brick stair. Like so. So you should, should get something kind of like that, and kind of show you guys where this is kind of um, marking from. You can see it's kind of, this stair right here is kind of in line with these uh, first the first stone half slab, or top slab that we have um, from layer one. So something just like that. Now once you guys have that done, we're going to go and go from the stair. We're going to go ahead and place down a upside down quartz stair like that, going down from it. We're also going to grab ourselves a... Uh, we're going to grab ourselves a lever, and on top of this uh, quartz uh, stair, we're going to go ahead and place down a lever that goes back just like that. Now, coming off the back of this quartz stair, we're going to place down a cobblestone um, wall, followed by a quartz top slab underneath it like that. Going ahead and going up from this uh, cobblestone wall here, we're going to place down two uh, quartz slabs, making a quartz full block, and then a cobblestone wall going up into the uh, top there just like that. Now, uh, going ahead and going forward, coming off of this uh, quartz full block, we're going to place down a quartz top slab, where they're going to place down a quartz half slab, and then a quartz top slab that goes in just like that. So it's going to just kind of connect in, and that's kind of supporting these uh, rear uh, wheels just like that. And then uh, for the wheel itself, we're going to go ahead and place down another brick upside down stair, coming off this uh, top slab, followed by a stair on top of it, and then uh, two stairs on the back of those stairs. So you go ahead and kind of create a circle, look something just like that for the wheel. Now, alongside here, we're going to go ahead and go to this half slab, or yeah, this half slab right here. Of course, we're going to go ahead and break the uh, narrow brick uh, top slab that would be right here. We're going to place down a black wool block, and then we're just going to go ahead and place down, or we're going to break this one, place down a black wool block, this one, and then one more going out to the front. So you can see it should look something just like this. Now, we lastly just want to go ahead and go to the to the uh, these three uh, black wool blocks, and we're just going to place down three narrow brick top slabs underneath those. Uh, for the uh, door that would open up and kind of close to, uh, you know, un um, let the uh, landing gear extend and all that stuff. Anyways, once you guys have that all finished up, that's going to pretty much do it for the uh, F-117 Nighthawk and it's uh, pretty much landed and also it's in flight stages. Uh, very cool aircraft and uh, definitely one of my more unique ones. And these, as you guys can see, it kind of stands a little, uh, pretty high off the ground and I was actually surprised by actually how high it actually does stand off the ground when it's landed. Uh, quite surprising actually. I was looking at it and almost a fully grown man could pretty much stand almost completely uh, under it without actually having to bend, o bend over, kind of lean down at all, which is uh, really crazy to, to think of. Um, but uh, anyways guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this tutorial. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you guys do it using this design, I do have to say you guys give me proper credit for it. Uh, this can be anything from a sign on the build to a link to my channel or this video that is appearing on social media sites. Just be sure you get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it uh, helps bring new uh, people to the channel and, of course, motivates me to uh, continue to uh, make this content. So if you guys definitely want to see more tutorials and uh, you guys use this one, be sure to go ahead and uh, give me credit for the design. And if you guys do, give me credit. You guys are free to use the design for whatever you guys want to do it or do with it. Um, any maps, all that stuff, you guys are free to go ahead and use it, um, as long as you guys give credit. Other than that, guys, be sure to just want more Warfare vehicles you guys want to see next time. And, of course, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2 4 and I'll see you guys next time.